Hi guys, I'm here today at Hatfield Forest. It's my first time in this area and I'm absolutely amazed the size of this place. There's not an awful lot of wildlife here, but um, there's a little bit of everything for everybody. And uh, as far as wildlife photography goes, so far I've been right the way around the lake and haven't seen an awful lot. But um, saying that, this place, as you go around the, the lake, it cuts right into the forest and uh, for any landscape photographer especially in the winter time it'd be like Aladdin's cave with plenty of treasures inside and um, I'm going to carry on looking through the the rest of this place and um, see what we can actually find Hi guys, I've just had a short and quick reality check on when you're using new equipment. I've just uh, purchased a new tripod and uh, the fitting, uh, they suggest that you fit it onto the lens itself, which is right here at the bottom. And uh, I wanted to do some vlogging now and just have a quick chat with you and it just shows that when you're a photographer like we are the amount of equipment that you actually need especially when you're doing videos as well you always need two tripods and I've just uh, getting this one as I say and the other one's still lying at home and I realize that I'm still going to have to use it just for accessibility because to be able to set up uh, for different shots, different environments, especially when you're using a tripod, you've got to have all the equipment up and ready with you. And uh, I've been sat here and just been having thoughts about how I'm going to progress from here. Since we've come out of this terrible lockdown, I've really concentrated on my photography and realized that I'm really enjoying it. Getting out, getting into nature, which I absolutely love, and finding new places. And I've got a lot of places that I'm going to within the next two months. And um, I'm really excited about it. But one thing that I'm trying to make up my mind with as well is what do I enjoy the most? Do I enjoy the landscape side of photography 
or do I enjoy the wildlife? And I realized that when you go to different countries and you're inside the city, it's all landscape, you know, different environments, different streets, different restaurants, different buildings, historical places. And that's all well and good. You can just snap and take a shot. But when you want to start doing landscape photography, I realize that you've got to have the, the eye for it. And I'm not sure if I've got the eye to do, to do landscape photography. When I'm doing wildlife photography, I know exactly the shot that I want. When I see a particular bird, I want to put in the extra effort to make sure that I get that bird in flight or I get a good posture for that bird. And uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos uh, on landscape photography and I'd really like to get some of the quality shots that you actually see that's on there. But I'm realizing it's not as easy as it sounds. Um, you can go to some places and everything that's around you, there's a landscape shot there, there's a landscape shot here. And one of the places that I've just come back from is Iceland and I haven't really made a video about that yet either. But that that's absolutely phenomenal that place for landscape photography and not so much on the, the wildlife. And um, I'm just getting a couple of prints um, done from my Iceland trip and um, I'll show a video of that later on of the size and the trimming and the framing. Still got to get the, the frames for it. And uh, I just realized that the photography is taking up a good part of my life now at the moment, which I'm enjoying. It's not just getting the right equipment. It's not just a matter of um, getting the right shot. It's knowing that you want a print of it and you want to be able to find a good printer or send your prints out, which I'm actually doing at the moment, because I feel that for it to be cost effective, it's, it's not worth it getting a Canon Pro 900 that uh, you spend a thousand pound on and another 500 pound for the inks. It's, it's just really not cost effective. Here in Bishop Stortford, I've got a place that uh, I can get an A2 print done um, for tw 20 pounds or 15 pounds. And as um, soon as you get to know these people, they'll start giving you a good discount and everything as well. And um, what, what you've got to do when you're starting out, like myself, is just sum up all these different aspects. And uh, this is just a hint that I'm giving you guys at the moment, um, just to realize all the variables that is actually in photography. It's not a matter of just going out and getting the shot. It's everything else that's involved. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna carry on my uh, trip around this place here at uh, Hatfield Forest and uh, we'll see what more we can find.